What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Kyle and I do all things motorcycle related. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to update the software in your Harley Davidson Boom radio. This is going to apply for the 4.3 radio, the 6.5 GT radio, and the new Boom GTS radio. To complete this today, you're going to need a thumb drive that is bigger than 8 gigabytes, a PC, meaning like a Windows computer, and access to the internet. That's all you need to update and have the latest software on your Harley Davidson radio. Also, real quick, let me just say, for whatever reason, you cannot use a Mac computer to download the software. You have to use a Windows PC. I just wanted to clarify that again before I get comments asking why you can't use a Mac. I don't know why. That's something to do with Harley Davidson and their software engineer. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get right to it. So before we do anything on the computer, it is a good practice to check the software that is in your bike currently. So to do such, we're going to be turning our ignition to accessory. Go to the home screen, go down to settings, from here scroll down till you get to system information. And then we will be clicking on the first one software. And that is the software version that is currently loaded in this GTS system. So from here, we can go on to Harley Davidson's website and check to see what the latest software that they have out. And if it's newer than this, we can proceed with the updating process. So let's get to the computer and check it out. Okay, so. From the Harley Davidson website, which is harleydavidson.com, from the main home screen, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom into where it says motorcycle services. And then down, second one up from the bottom is software updates. We're going to be clicking on that. So, right over here, you have your Boom Box Audio. It has the 2019 and later Boom GTS radio the 6.5 GT radio, the 4.3 radio, and then also the dealer locator point of interest. So since I have the GTS system, we are going to click on the 2019 and later Boom GTS. Obviously, if you have a 4.3 radio, click on the 4.3 and etc. etc. So what you got here is the latest software, as you can see here, those are the latest software versions. You have North America, Europe, and rest of the world. I'm going to download the North America. This takes a little bit. Just be patient. As you can see, it pops up there on the bottom while the file downloads. Okay, so this is where things get a little bit tricky. I have my settings for downloads to automatically, when they are done downloading, to open up. And this is a zipped file, so my computer automatically already opens the file with the unzipping program. It is important to find where your file goes. Most of the time it goes into the, the documents under downloads. Just be cautious of that so you know where the file is going because you need the first one that you download. If for example, you accidentally download the file more than once, it's going to add a number two or three or so on. And unfortunately, you cannot use those files. You need the original one. So if that happens to you, just find the original one. And if you cannot, just delete all the files that you've downloaded and re-download a new one. So once you find your file, we're going to have to unzip the file. So I'm just going to click on it, extract it, and I am going to send this to the desktop. Now, as you can see, it appeared over here on the desktop. 
and at this point we can plug our USB flash drive in. So the USB flash drive's here. So what we're going to do is open this folder. You're going to see this file within the folder. And at this point we're just going to, you can click and drag it or right click and copy it and just paste this into your flash drive. Takes a second with the good old trusty crusty dusty PC as I like to call it. Okay now that that's transferred you can see this folder here. At this point we want to do the right thing and right click and eject our thumb drive and then now we can take the thumb drive over to the bike and we'll pick it up over there. So back over here at the road glide we are going to be plugging our flash drive into the USB port which is in our little cubby there. This is going to be a little difficult to do with the camera, so give me a second here, bear with me. Once the thumb drive is plugged in, you can turn the bike to accessory. Just click accept. You'll get no playable media found, which is okay, just click okay. And then right there, you're going to get this thing that pops up, says turn ignition switch to accessory position and do not interrupt the software update once it has started. So as you can see there, I'm updating from version M21.20.28 to version M22.21.28. So we're going to make sure we're highlighted on install now and using your thumb control or you can click using the touch screen and we're just going to click install now and let it do its thing. So as you can see there, update is successful, the radio will restart momentarily. And then we can go right to the settings and let's go down to the system information. And there it is, there's the latest software version. So that was successful. So with the software updated, I just wanted to quickly jump on here and add two things. The first thing is that obviously software updates are crucial because anytime they release a new update, that means it's just fixing prior bugs and glitches of the system that you could possibly run into, which could be a pain in the butt. So it is always good to have the latest software for those reasons. And the other thing is Number two is, I don't know if you guys took notice, but it is very important when you do the update and you're loading the file onto your thumb drive, make, please make sure there's no other pictures, videos, or music, or any other files on there that when you plug the USB into your bike that it starts playing music or something. Don't let it mess up the process. Just try to have a flash drive that you could have a clean slate to put the appropriate files on. But that's all, that's all I wanted to add here. So they might have actually changed something here. So previously you had to do these two steps separately. You had to update your radio software, then go update the POIs. But I did take notice when the radio was updating the general software that there was a section for maps which I don't recall seeing before. Maybe they finally fixed it so you only have to download one file versus two now, which would be a lot more convenient because it's one less step you have to do, obviously. But if you guys know anything about this, leave down below in the comments. Um, like I said, it used to, you had to do the software update and then the dealer POIs. I have the dealer POI files on the thumb drive. I deleted the previous files, 
and it's saying it that the software is the same so maybe they change that if you guys know like i said let me know down below in the comments i'd appreciate that well as you guys see it is pretty simple to update the software in your harley davidson boom like i said the process is the same for the 4.3 the 6.5 gt and the boom gts radios if you guys stuck around this long into the video do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Why don't you go down there and smash that thumbs up button. And if not already done, click that subscribe and that bell icon. So that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this. But that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to ride safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.